Okay, today I'm back to give you guys another video. Today I will be reviewing the Beats Executive. Now, I did a video recently where I showed off my Beats collection and I had uh, people asking me to review the Beats Executives and see if they were still worth buying in 2020. So I decided uh, to do that and I've been using these for a whole week just so I can uh, uh, remember how these headphones sound and I can give you guys a good review. Now these headphones, uh, when they came out, they retailed for around $250. Um, at the moment, you can find them on eBay um, at the lowest end and that's in use condition for about $60 and that's use. But if you want them in good condition, you're gonna spend over $100. And if you want them brand new, you're gonna have to pay around $200 for these. But are they worth the money? Let's take a look. Okay, moving on to the accessories. Now the first accessory I'm gonna show you here is the cable and it looks very cool. It is red and then attention to details. Uh, as you can see there, it says Beats. So that's pretty cool. And then moving up, the cable is nice and thick and it is gold plated. The jacks are gold plated. And then also, as you can see there, the, the mic has the Beats logo. Now it does uh, have a, it's a one button mic and it has a volume rocker, which is very cool. And then again, it says Beats there. So the cable, is very nice i do like it a lot okay so we also get this uh case and as you can see it says beats executive right there it's very nice it's uh kind of like a hard shell case very nice and then on the other side it does say beats right there has the logos very nice and then inside has a nice soft material and then it has a picture so you can see how the headphones go I wish they they added a little compartment here on this side so you can put the cable but other than that I do like the accessories so I'm gonna give uh, beats thumbs up now let's move on to the hardware Okay, moving on to the hardware. Now the hardware is with these headphones really shine. Pretty much all this part is all aluminum. Uh, very nice. Everything actually feels aluminum except this plastic part here. Um, right here you get a button and it's your on and off switch. So you turn it on, there's a little uh, LED light that turns green and that turns on the headphones with uh, noise canceling. Also on this, on the other ear cup, you have where you put your batteries and it has magnets. So that's very nice. The ear cups feel like uh, memory foam. And then there is a little bit of foam inside. It has this nice leather material, it says Beats there. Everything looks really good and then on the on the side it says executive so you can see right there it says executive and then this the band is all aluminum very nice so you can see there so these are very nicely built and probably one of the better built beats headphones out there in my opinion i do like them a lot for the build quality, I'm gonna give Beats thumbs up. Now let's move on to the stretch test. Okay, moving on to the stretch test. Now this is a test that I usually do for people that wanna buy these headphones. And if you have a big head, you wanna see how much they stretched out. So this test is for you guys. So let's go ahead and do it. I already opened them up. So we'll do the stretch test. One two and three 
And as you can hear, no crazy sounds. The build quality is very good with these headphones. So Beats, you pass the stretch test. Now let's move on to the sound quality. Okay, moving on to the sound quality. Now some of the albums I used to test these headphones out, I did play some Mac Miller, some Jesse Reyes, the soundtrack to Frozen 2, and some Kanye West. Now I did play more tracks and more albums, but those are the ones that I remember playing. Now let's first talk about the bass. Now the bass, in my opinion, is really good. It sounds punchy, but it doesn't distort. It sounds really good at high volumes as well. And the separation between the bass and the mids was pretty good. It was not perfect, but it was pretty good. So I did like it. And I believe if you're a bass head, you're gonna enjoy these headphones. So I'm gonna give Beats thumbs up for the bass. Now let's move on to the mids and the highs. Okay, moving on to the mids and the highs. Now the mids sounded as good as the highs. So they were both on par with each other. Um, these headphones give a nice uh, balanced sound. So everything sounded good. Even though the bass is sometimes punchy, I believe these headphones are an all around headphone, which uh, you can throw any different kind of genre into these headphones and they're gonna give you a good sound quality. I, I really like these headphones. In my opinion, these are probably one of the better Beats headphones, especially these are, they came out a while back. They sound definitely better than the, the original Beats and even the Beats Studio because they don't drown out the mids and the highs. And uh, I had a very good time playing music this past week with these headphones. I forgot how good these sound, in my opinion. Um, they were overpriced but they, they still sound good in my opinion. So I'm gonna tell you guys that the mids and the, the highs are pretty good. They're not perfect, but they're pretty good. Now let's move on to my final thoughts. Okay, moving on to my final thoughts. Now in the beginning of the video, I asked you guys, are these worth the money? And at $250, they're hard to recommend uh, for that price, especially when they first came out. There were, there's different headphones at that price that you can buy that might be better. Um, but I believe if you can get these headphones between $100 and $150, I think it's a pretty good deal. Even though they're not wireless, uh, these are very good beats. Uh, they have, in my opinion, a good sound uh, quality. Even at tw in this year, 2020, I've experienced other headphones at the price range that you can buy these headphones at the moment. And I think these sound really good. They do have noise canceling. The build quality, like I said, is really good. Um, these are one of my favorite Beats headphones. The color looks really good. And I know there is a black color, but I looked on eBay and these, um, this uh, aluminum version is the one that goes for more money than the black ones. So keep that in mind. Um, but the sound quality sounds good. It's not perfect. And like I said, when they came out, they, they they're probably were overpriced. But at the moment, you can probably get them cheaper. And if you wanna, if you don't wanna break the bank and you, you can probably get them used in good condition for less than $100. So I would recommend them if you get them between $100 and $150 or less. I think it's a pretty good buy. Now I did hear these headphones with my Pioneer DAP. So I have a review up for this one. So that's the source I was using to uh, use these headphones. So that was my review. Check out all my videos. Subscribe, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time.